There's some good news about the bad news this week in both Nashville and Paris. First, the bad news. People in authority in the Southern Baptist Church in the United States have sexually abused church members, and some leaders have either looked the other way or have acted to cover it up. The same goes for the French Catholic Church. And the good news, the sin is being revealed, and full disclosure and transparency are coming. In Nashville, the executive committee of the Southern Baptist Convention has bowed to pressure from church delegates known as messengers to waive attorney-client privilege, and that means investigators will be given access to confidential records involving sexual abuse allegations. Yes, full disclosure may lead to lawsuits and financial ruin, but Southern Baptists are doing the right thing. Meanwhile, in Paris, a report released this week by an independent commission reveals as many as 330,000 children were victims of sexual abuse within the French Catholic Church over the past 70 years. Two-thirds of the estimated 3,000 child abusers were priests. Eighty percent of those abused were boys. Nuns also abused girls. Some reported they were raped with crucifixes. Folks, this is horrific. The theft of childhood innocence, violations that have caused unbearable trauma and lifelong scars. All of us should be outraged and grieved, not only for the French victims, but for the worldwide body of Christ. One French bishop described the revelations as more than shocking. He has a deep feeling of shame. Also, the president of the Conference of Bishops of France says many lives were destroyed. Uh, uh, put in great uh, difficulties, because of a priest, and a priest is, is made normal, normally to, to help the life to, be, to, to grow and to be, to be better. Life wasn't better for victims like French actor Laurent Martinez. He was raped by a priest when he was just eight years old. The diocese moved the priest, but Martinez, he endured lasting wounds. I thought that it was all over because we never talk about it. But in fact, the, the, this trauma was inside me. Martinez says the trauma caused him to feel that intimacy with a woman was forbidden. The French Catholic Church pledges to monetarily compensate victims and to take steps against future abuse. Folks, for far too long, many churches have ignored and covered up wickedness in high places. The Great Commission requires all Christians to tell people about Jesus, to be salt and light. No one will listen if the body of Christ resembles the fallen world. And how can we be light if we live in darkness? Sexual sin must be exposed, not ignored or covered up. And let's not forget what Christ said in John chapter 8 after the woman was caught in adultery. He did not condemn her. Jesus said, go and sin no more. There must be a fear of God, a true turning away from sin, repentance, forgiveness, and reconciliation. And no matter the shame, no matter the risk of financial ruin, may righteousness and God's mercy, His grace and justice prevail. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.